So if you're new to cryptocurrency, firstly, welcome guys. This is the best place in the world to be. Community matters within cryptocurrency and that's what drawn me straight into it. And you might get confused with words like DeFi, decentralized wallets, crypto exchanges, candlestick patterns. It's enough to make anyone crazy guys. And it's making me crazy just talking about it now. So I've been in cryptocurrency for three years. Have I made it? Not yet. Am I on my way? Yes. And I'm going to show you my journey, guys. My goal was to give up the day job and I'm part way there now. So I'm going to show you the gains that I've made along the way, but more importantly, and this is more importantly, the mistakes, because the mistakes are the things that we learn from. So go back in time. This is where my journey started. It was March 2020 and the pandemic crashed the crypto markets. It crashed the traditional markets. And not only that, the whole world changed. The whole world went into lockdown, including myself. So that meant working from home. So working at home, spending time with the girlfriend, spending time with the dog, it was great for the first few weeks, but then things got a little bit repetitive and a little bit boring. This is where I first discovered Bitcoin. So this is where I was interested in crypto. This was the bottom of the pandemic crash at $3,700 Bitcoin went to. So I was interested in this area here. Did I take advantage of it? Did I buy here? Did I buy here? No, I didn't, guys. I bought near the top here. So I did get Bitcoin at 10,000, which is a good thing. Did I buy enough of it? Definitely not. Definitely not. So this was where I was interested and I was accumulating in altcoins. I was learning about altcoins at this point and I drove it all the way up all the way up guys to $65,000 and I thought I was a king at this point. What happened here? So don't forget Bitcoin drops, the rest of the altcoins drop even further. And this in, in comparison to this doesn't look much of a drop. That was a 50% drop guys and probably a 70% drop on altcoins. Did we recover? We did recover and we had a second shot at the bull run and we just broke the previous high of 65,000 and hit 69,000. So we did have another try and at this point here, People were hodling for dear life. They were holding their bags, thinking that it was going to go to 100,000, 200,000, 350,000. There were even talks of a million dollars. And this is what wrecks people. This is what wrecks the retail because they don't realize that afterwards, this is exactly what can happen. And this is exactly what did happen. Bang, 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 drop, bear market started. People lost everything at this point. So anyone that was invested in crypto during the bull run, they're all losing at this point. And this is why you've got to be careful. Now, what influencers drove me into crypto? I'm going to show you that now. Right, when we all get into crypto, we all follow certain influencers. We all follow certain communities that are in the space to help us educate and navigate our way through cryptocurrencies. And that's what I'm aiming to do. The guys in the early days that influenced me was Ran and Sheldon. And Sheldon has got a heart of gold. He's got such a good story behind him with his father. His mum's amazing. And this guy just wants to help and educate people within the space and make them successful. So this is a bit of Sheldon from the early days. We have the two shows. We have the early show with myself. Uh, and then we have the later show with Random Man with the Fundamentals. And you know what we sort of decided was it's time to have the smartest audience out there. We need to make sure that you guys understand what we are saying every day. And the whole purpose of... The and I've watched Sheldon grow over the years and let me know that he is fantastic. Right. So Sheldon is absolutely fantastic. Sheldon's story inspired me. But what I wanted to do is think a little bit outside the box and learn from a different angle. So this guy is not a crypto trader. He's a Forex trader. He's got decades of experience within the Forex markets. And he teaches you that no matter what the chart, technical analysis is technical analysis. And there's a story behind the patterns. There's a story at the support and resistance levels. And you can profit out of those guys by just educating yourself. Go and do the back testing, go and do the homework. You're not going to get a magic strategy from him, but he teaches you that you can actually do it. You can become successful. You just need the hard work and the preparation. This guy's Akeel Stokes. Price has been on this amazing uptrend, right? Remember our very basics. If the price chart is moving from the bottom left to the right hand, uh, the right top right corner, excuse me, early in the morning here of your screen, it is in a bullish trend. Our last retracement came right here. And we do have got obviously more specific rules for trends, but that's something that we always, when we do workshops or whatever, the, the very basics, right? If you can just kind of. So I just want to show you guys a simple trick for anyone that's new to crypto because it's all well and good buying crypto. But do you know when you're going to sell it? Because they say hodl for dear life, but you can't hodl forever. Otherwise, you're going to get wrecked. So simple trend line, guys. Get yourself on TradingView. Sign up to TradingView. It's completely free to do so. And then what I want you to do is just go and practice adding trend lines and try and identify areas where you would want to be out of the market to take advantage of bigger gains. Because this drop here, 50%. 
Do you want to buy Bitcoin at 65,000 or do you want to buy Bitcoin at 30,000? Because that's the choice that you get here if you use simple trend lines. And you can do it time and time again, guys, just a simple trend line. Know when you need to be out of the market. So what happens? Price pushes up, in trend, in trend, in trend. What happens here? Bang, lost trend, move to the downside. So you can do it time and time again, guys. Add a trend line in there. What happens when you drop trend? Bang, downside. Now you can flip it in reverse here. So if you're looking for a bullish move, you could just stick a trend line like that. And what does this show us? This is showing us that the bulls are regaining some kind of momentum. We made a base here before ultimately a run to the upside. Stick your trend line on. Where are you out, guys? You answer it. Shout at the screen. This is where you're out. Break of trend. Break of trend. That's where you're out. And that's how you can identify areas where you need to be out of the market. It's good being out of the market sometimes because you can take advantage of bigger gains. And Bitcoin's going to tell you when the rest of the market's going to run because Bitcoin's the big daddy. It's 50% of the market lead. It's 50% of the total crypto market cap. And it is the least risk asset as far as cryptocurrencies are concerned. So people flood into Bitcoin and that's why the dominance keeps increasing during the bear market. But I just wanted to show you guys areas where you can identify where you need to be out of the market. So if you want to see the mistakes that I've made, because I'm not perfect, I'm far from it, you can watch this video and it'll show you the mistakes that I've made during my crypto journey and you can learn from them.